Good morning, cultists! Welcome back to another Unknowledged Breakfast with Cthulhu Loops. In the last episode, we explored the entirety of the region of Mesada and discovered that there are a lot of side quests. So I am very, very excited, if you know what I mean. So, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, there is one right north of us over here, I guess? northwest ish Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's north of us or whatever. Okay, so how do we... How do we uh, get the side quest? Do we... Um, I guess we have to go inside this building? Now, how do we get inside this building? Um... Hmm... Maybe the quest is to find the entrance to this building. Please don't tell me I have to enter this building like a normal person. Tell me that I can enter it like some kind of degenerate that... No, it turns out we have to enter the building like a normal person. Alright, fine. I could use your help. I'm sorry, how did you know that was a Mystios? You have a very intense and piercing gaze. What seems to be the problem? There is serious unrest in Cridonia, Mystios. The guards and merchants are at each other's throats. The guards are here to serve the locals. What's got them riled up? <sighs> Taxes. The merchants refuse to pay the increased taxes, and the guards all too gleefully extract them. Their captain, Theocles, is more a bandit than a guard. This unrest is bad for business. I need you to quiet some of the outbursts around Kildonia. A power-mad captain? Civil unrest? Sounds like serious work. <laughs> which would be seriously rewarded. I have precious gems which I'm sure would appeal to someone such as yourself. Uh, yeah, sure, maybe. I mean, it's better than the gold. I have like over a million drachme, so... I'd be happy to help. <laughs> Good! That you will find the areas of tension around the Agora, the Eastern Market, and the docks. Is there anything else I can tell you? Yes. How is Babi formed? Should I use any means necessary to end this unrest? <sighs> Ever the Mystios, where a blade is the answer to all things. Actually, yes, yes. One way to quell the unrest is to kill everyone involved. But sometimes, simply talking will yield the best results. Really? You sure about that? If the cause of all this is increased taxes, wouldn't it be easier to lower them? Don't you know all of the Greek world is at war? War is expensive, and Kidonia needs fleets. She needs armies. We cannot be left defenseless. Alright, fair enough. You mentioned the guard captain, the Ocles. Who is he? Not a man of the people, Mystios. It's at his encouragement the gods put so much pressure on the merchants. Hmm. I wonder if he's a cultist. I've heard everything I need to hear. Do what you must to bring order, but watch your back. There are people who seek to benefit from this civil unrest. And we're counting on you, Mystios. Oh, well. There's always people who benefit from a civil unrest. Alright, so... There's one fairly close to us, about 60 meters away. Alright, I guess we will just kind of explore things or um, resolve things uh, by order of distance, possibly. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to land on your head. What is going on here? What is this? Justice, Mystios! That doesn't sound like justice to me! Why do you care? These are the families of the guards who beat us and harass us. This is what they deserve. These increased taxes are ridiculous. They choke the very life out of us. We must stand. We must fight. So this is the family of the guards? Okay, well, you know what? Let's try to resolve this as peacefully as we can. There's no need for violence. We can talk this over. Talk? They've smashed our wares. They've beaten us. They have, yes. And maybe they should pay. But this family has done nothing. This child has done nothing. They're innocent. But a lesson must be learned. We must teach them not to mess with us. This is not the way. They paid you off, didn't they? You, you work for them. Have it your way, Mystios. The woman and her child will not be harmed, but we're not done with you. We have our own scary mercenaries. Do you? You know what? Bring Whoa. I guess I have a bounty on my head now. You know what? I welcome these scary mercenaries that you, uh, are purport to have. And there's one coming at me right now. And it is... Parmenian the Spoiled. Parmenian the Spoiled was born to a wealthy merchant family in Alexandria. 
He grew up callous and spoiled, craving nothing but adventure. When his parents allowed him to leave home, only their best guards. Um, leave home only with their best guards. Okay, Parmenian realized the only way to get what he truly wanted was to kill them and run away. Okay, um, great. You're sending a spoiled brat after me. What's uh, frustrating is that he is actually a legendary level um, mercenary, so that kind of, I guess, incentivizes me to try to recruit him. But knowing his backstory, I'm a little less tempted to uh, bring him onto my ship. So, I don't know. Yeah, you know what, though? We will go ahead and tussle with him. Whether or not we uh, kill him or recruit him, that remains to be seen. If only you had actually come at me at the beginning of this episode, we could fulfill the, um, you know, the series, uh, tradition of starting every episode with a Royal Rumble with a, a Bounty Hunter. But sadly, you're a little late to be at the beginning. You know what? Since you are a legendary level dude, I'm going to maybe give you a chance here and see if perhaps you might be worth recruiting. I'm doubtful, I'm not gonna lie, but, uh, I don't know, it's possible. Very possible. Now, we'll wait for the uh, poison to run out before I engage with him uh, further. And I like how I can uh, just expertly get behind him. Just to, you know, give him some of that sweet extra damage. You know what? You know what I don't use uh, enough of? The Speed of Hermes, or whatever the uh, thing, ability is called. There you go. Feel that? Whoa, this actually is lasting for a very long time, I gotta say. Alright, Parmenian the Spoiled. You know what, I'm gonna give you a chance. What? Are you- you're still up? Dude, why are you still up, man? There you go. Fantastic. Nice flip there, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna loot you and, uh... I guess I'll recruit you. Good. Gather your things and meet me at my ship. Don't act like a spoiled brat on my ship, though. Otherwise, we're gonna have issues, my friend. Real big issues. And by big, I mean the size of my dagger in your gonads. Big. I guess my dagger's not that big. You know what? I do have a uh, two-handed uh, mace weapon that can use on your gonads, if that's what you would prefer. So, um, watch out for that. Okay, what's going on here? What's going on here? This Malaka needs to pay his taxes like everyone else. Otherwise, we'll smash every last pot in the Agora. Captain Diocles orders. That doesn't sound very nice. Leave him alone. I'll help. I'll help you. What? Why would I want to help this son of a bitch? How does that help our situation? Leave the merchant alone. You've done enough. Ha! You itching for a beating, Mistyos? We'll just have to smash you too. Okay, sure. If, you, if a uh, tussle is what you want, then uh, tussle is what you're gonna get. Sorry there, buddy. Didn't mean to actually uh, do that to you, but you know what? Oh, poor bastard. I'm gonna stab you from behind. Get that extra sweet uh, damage. Alright, alright. Oh! Holy crap, holy. I don't think so. Hey, merchant guy? You might want to back off a little bit there, buddy. Because, uh, things are about to get uh, crazy go nuts. Alright, you know what? Let's not kill him. I don't want to add to my bounty. Though, I don't know if I actually do need to kill them or not. But, so far... Whoa, shit, what the hell? Hey! I'm here to help you guys. Whoa! That guy fucking flew. Holy shit, what is going on? Miss? I'm trying to help you merchants out. What is wrong with you guys? My goodness. Oh no, I just killed a civilian. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, turns out I might actually need to kill the uh, merchants. Or, sorry, not, not the merchants, but the civilians. Alright, miss. Back off. Okay. Listen, that was a complete accident. I have to kill this guy? Alright, are we good? What have you done? This was my livelihood. What? I helped you on is what I've done. What have you done? This was my livelihood. Listen, it wasn't my fault that one of your pots got smashed, alright? It's not my fault. My goodness. 
Who the hell is this guy? Priscos the Mistwalker. Well, Priscos the Mistwalker. His favorite time to strike was the dead of night when fog bathed the streets. Priscos the Mistwalker made his move. Great. Priscos, I have some bad news for you, my friend. You are not a legendary level mercenary, so uh, I'm, a I'm afraid that you're gonna have to die. Nothing personnel, kid. Whoa! Dog, you might want to get out of here, man. Jeez, Priscos. Have you no common decency? There was a doggo right next to you. How dare you swing at me whilst a doggo is in danger. Unbelievable. Get out of here, punk. Son of a bitch. So uncouth. Did you just punch the air? What are you, shadow boxing right now? Oh, damn. Gotta say, though, he's not really doing a lot of damage to me. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I mean, did you throw that grenade right in front of your own face? Whoa! Okay, holy shit! You know what? Priscos? Sorry, kid. Good grief, this guy. Holy crap, almost killed me. Good grief. Alright, so there is one more point of tension to resolve, and I think we're good. Though I do feel a little, uh, badly about the whole, um, destroying of that guy's pots and shit, but... You guys saw me! That was clearly not my intention. It's not like I, you know, intended to kick that lady into the pots and smash everything. Also, why the hell did the people of the civilians attack me? Were they on the side of the guards? I don't understand. Alright, um... Now, there is one thing I could do before I progress, though. That is, uh, not only looting the, um, treasure here, but actually clearing the bounty on my name. Yeah. I know you guys just witnessed a murder, but don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry. There we go, my bounty is now cleared! So, uh, good on me, right? Okay, this guy over here. Let's get rid of him. Thank you. And now we collect what we need. Sweet. Oh, we can't go through the, uh... I thought that was breakable. I didn't mean to just randomly attack a perfectly innocent, uh, wall there. Hey, what's going on, you guys? You can't do this. What Malacca city is this? Where the guards prey on their own people. It's simple. You avoid your taxes, we take your stuff. Now, step away. Or what? Mistios, please, talk some sense into these idiots. If we aren't allowed to continue doing our business, the economy of Kidonia will fall to ruin. This does not concern you, Mistios. This is the law of the land. If they give up the goods, all will end well. Uh... Laws are for the weak. People should live freely. These merchants won't pay you a single drachmi. You will regret this. Kill the Mistios! I mean, that wasn't really what I'd intended to say. Oh shit. Fucking civilian just got annihilated. Why is he bleeding? The civilian just in the background bleeding profusely over there. Ah, uh, crap. I didn't mean to say that laws are useless and they shouldn't be followed. That's clearly not what I was intending. Good grief. Alright, alright. Fine, fine. Here, can I... What the dicks was that? What is going on? I don't understand. <laughs> oh no. Has it though, Cassandra? Has peace really been restored? I mean, I think if anything, we've just caused more chaos and pandemonium. Which is, uh, subsequently, um, one of my, not subsequently maybe, but, uh, Pandemonium is, uh, uh, one of my favorite words. I first encountered the word pandemonium, uh, when I was a kid. It is, this isn't a brag at all, no, 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 um... There was a, a, a video game called, uh, Pandemonium. What the... What happened here? Hell? Come meet your death? Missing, missing your precious gems, Mystios? Face me at the courtyard south of the Eastern Bazaar if you want them back. Otherwise, make sure my soldiers and I never see you in Kithonia again. Diocles. Captain Diocles denied me my payment. And he killed a, a perfectly innocent dude. Um, I mean, there's that too, but whatever. Now, back to my story about Pandemonium. 
I believe Pandemonium is um, how do you how would I define it? It's a 3D uh, platformer game, I think, where you play as either a uh, sexy lady in like a knee high stockings or a jester, and you go around. Um, I forget what you do exactly, but. That's where I first encountered the word pandemonium, and man, I've learned that, loved that word ever since. Sorry, anyways, back to Diocles and his uh, Goombas over here. Wow, you guys are not good at your jobs. Unless, of course, your jobs is to get uh, completely annihilated by a random Mystios just, just uh, you know, minding your own business. Okay, clearly what I'm doing is constitutes murder, according to these guys. Well, Diocles? Okay, are you a cultist, sir? Are you in fact a cultist? Blink once for yes? Blink twice for no? Don't blink at all, and I will assume that you are, um, well, probably dead. Very soon anyways. Gotta say, this, this guy's actually pretty tough. Or at least he's got a lot of, uh, uh health points, rather. Did I just say health points instead of HP? Apparently I did! Wow. <laughs> Good grief, Diocles. Alright, let me, uh... Bust your cap open. Captain had the decency to keep my gems on him. Never stand between Amistios and her payday. Okay, who's this? Atalanta the what now? I'm sorry, Atalanta the Rejected? Is that right? Atalanta the Rejected never had much luck with anyone, man or woman. It's believed her work suffered as she searched for love, until the life of a Mystheos was the only thing for her. It said she would decide if she killed her target based on whether she could see a future with them. <laughs> nice! So, she's basically me. That is hilarious. Alright, well, Atalanta, um, I don't know if you see a future with me, but... Um, Hmm, I don't know. I'm tempted to recruit her. Oh shit. Am I hidden? I am hidden right now, aren't I? Oh my god, she's got a bear. She's got a bear. Okay, bear. I'm sorry, bear. You must die. Sorry, Atalanta. I killed your bear. Uh, where'd they go? I'm right here, Atalanta. You okay? Are you blind, maybe? Oh shit. Well, here's the thing, though. Atalanta... You are not a legendary level uh, mercenary, or mercenary, so I don't know if I really want to recruit you. Did you just set your club on fire just by rubbing them together? Well, good for you, Atalanta. Good for you. And now I'm on fire. Thanks, Atalanta. Thanks. Here. Okay, you've survived that, so I've got to uh, give it to you. Uh, civilian, you, got, you might want to back off, man, because... Um, there is some serious royal rumblage going on here. What was that? What'd you say? Sorry, Atalanta, could you repeat that? Oh, okay, I should have died by now. Is that what you're saying? Actually, I don't. That is um, my biggest flaw. Something that I often uh, refer to every time I'm doing like a job interview and they ask me what my biggest flaw is. I tell them, oh, I just don't know when to die. Might be a strength to some people. And, and you know what? It's one of those uh, tri uh, tricky answers that I give. Um, I was like, oh, what's your biggest flaw? It's like, oh, I just, I don't know when to quit. I'm too dedicated to my job, that kind of stuff. It's like a humble brag. Meet the man right, Atlanta. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give you what you've been looking for your entire life and not reject you this time. Okay, there you go. All right, so I believe our questing here is done. Let's head on over to Say That Again, a quest that will take us to the far west part of uh, Mesada, it seems. Rodney, let's do this. Come at me, Rodney. Come at me, Rodney. Come at me, I'm ripped. I'm ready. Let's do this. Fantastic. <laughs> Though, I'd say the uses of that is still somewhat limited since uh i mean that being said i think it's mostly because i've been summoning rodney in a place where i can't really run that well maybe or, or if uh where rodney can't run that well 
I think maybe if I summoned Rodney in a place where I could just book it, or, or sorry, where he could just book it, maybe we'd be okay. Alright, so we can actually just cut through this uh, mountain range here, but nah. Let's, uh, let's enjoy the pretty sights as we... As Rodney... If only you could just run a little bit faster, thank you. Gotta say, I'm not a big fan of the uh, speed limitations in the uh, cities. Which kind of makes me uh, miss the chariots in um, uh, the hit video game Assassin's Creed Origins. <sighs> Although, that wasn't without its problems though. I will say, because I've accidentally run over a dog, I still remember that. And that still haunts my very dreams. Um, I accidentally ran over that dog. Uh, was it in Alexandria? It was somewhere. And I was on a chariot, and I think this was like one of the first times I was on a chariot. And I didn't realize it can actually run people over. Something happened to your shipment? Huh? Did something happen to your shipment? Yes! Idiots happened! They dropped it and shattered my obsidian glass! You were getting it too! Did you say something, whelp? I said, curse those clumsy fools! Exactly! Now <laughs> I need more obsidian. If you can bring me some, Mistyos, my finest blade shall be yours. Do we have a deal? Uh, yeah, I have some right now, actually. This should be enough. You are well stocked. You a merchant or a Mistyos, eh? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> ah, excellent! This will do fine. Here you go, Mistyos, as promised. Wait, how much did you did I give you? That was it? Okay. Cool. Alright, that's uh not bad, not bad, I guess. Alright, so there is something up north. I do wonder if perhaps I should head on up here to take care of that bounty. Yeah, let's do that. And I think this might actually be a um a legendary animal hunting ground, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let me head on up north Let's to uh, wherever that place is, and then take care of my bounty. Because, um, I gotta say, I, uh, I, I'm a little nervous about running around with a bounty on my head and all that such. Not that I can't handle it, it's just, I feel like, with my knowing my luck, a bounty hunter is just gonna land right on top of my, uh, uh, right on top of my head. From the very heavens, at the most inopportune moment. Most likely, whilst I'm having some kind of like very uh, tender heart-to-heart -heart, um, conversation, or maybe even like a uh, romantic um, banging with someone, they might land on top of me. Maybe the person that I'm banging might turn out to be a bounty hunter who's uh, trying to collect the bounty on my head. That could very well be the case too. All right. So, what exactly is this? Is this a fort? Okay, this isn't a fort, is it? Because I don't really have time to... Temple of Rito Martis. Right. So it's a temple. Which is fine by me. It's much better than having to take care of a... Uh, whatchamacallit. A uh, fortress. So I'm down for that. Uh, sir? You dropped something. Your butthole. I don't know how you dropped your butthole, but... There you have it. Okay, so there's at least a small handful of dudes inside of the uh, temple itself and some guy just sitting on his laurels outside the bounty sponsor just baffing about and what looks to be a legendary chest Interesting Okay, well, um, I guess we'll take care of the bounty sponsor first. I suppose there's really no need for me to clear out the entire area, right? Okay. Alright, well, let's do this. Uh, guy with a spear, do not turn around at the last second. Please and thank you very much. Alright, sir. Bounty sponsor. There you go. And now, let me collect this loot. Thank you. Pilgrim's boots! Whoa! Okay, holy shit. So I think we have four out of the five um, uh, pilgrim items uh, from the set so far. Nice! That is absolutely fantastic. I was not expecting to see the uh, pilgrim set to you here, but okay, that's cool. All right, sir. You dropped your spear. 
Oh, sorry, not your, well, your spear and also your shield. But, uh, whatever. It's fine. I don't think he really minds that much anymore, what with him being dead and all that stuff. Okay, um, any more dudes? Whoa. A lot of jingle jangle. Any more dudes that I need to be aware of besides the guy on top? Turns out we might actually end up killing everyone in this place. Even though I said that I don't think there's actually any need to. Ah, you know what though? There might be one dude left behind, which I'm okay with. I am perfectly fine with just leaving one dude standing. Then he can uh, tell all his friends about how that one time he uh, went to work, guarding a temple and shit. Uh, all his uh, co-workers went missing. It was really spooky and he thought it was he was just being pranked. But turns out they were never heard from ever again. Right? That could be a, tell a story that he could tell his uh, children. And possibly even his grandchildren. Assuming that he does indeed uh, procreate and his children procreate in turn. Not that I really needed to explain how uh, children and grandchildren work. But if you haven't had the talk with the bee birds and the about the birds and the bees with your family yet, or your parents, then uh, it might be time. Guys, I'm just saying, it might be time. So we just need to kill the captain who is at the very front, and we are good. Fantastic. So I've cleared my bounty, got another piece of the pilgrim set, and um, you even cleared up this little temple area. So that's all in all. Pretty cool. Fantastic. Alright, so let's actually uh, fast travel back to Artemis Dictina. Or Dictinia. Or Dic Dictina. Which is, of course, um, Portuguese for Artemis's massive dick. Um, <laughs> it's a temple de dedicated to Artemis's uh, massive, massive phallus. Which is, of course, used as an arrow to um, destroy the world in a Greek version of Ragnarok. Hmm. Now the cultist, we'll leave him for later. I'm sure he knows I'm coming. But, uh, yeah. No, we're not going to go after him just yet. What is that location, though? I'm just... Oh, I see. Cresilas' residence. Great. All right. Well, Cresilas. I don't know if that's no. That's uh, Melite. Is the guy that we is the cultist guy. All right. Well, in any case, let's head on over to the um, to the golden glowing undiscovered location let's and uh, see what awaits us. But judging yeah. by the geographical features around it and whatnot, I'm assuming it's actually um, legendary animal hunting grounds, yeah. and I believe it's supposed to be a bull. If I read the, if I read and remember the, um, the, uh, quest right, uh, there's supposed to be a bull that we have to hunt down in the, uh, in the region of Masada. So, this could be it. Or I could be very, very wrong. And it could turn out to be maybe, I don't know, the Minotaur? Possibly? Assuming that one exists? The Cretan Bull. Let's go. Yep, that's it. The, uh, Cretan Bull. Whoa, it is nice and foggy. Whoa! Holy crap! That thing is fucking massive! Father of the Minotaur. Oh, really? Is that, uh, is that the legend around it? Is that it's the father of the Minotaur? Holy shit! The fuck did you just do? Did you summon some friends or something? Oh my god, this thing is fast. Holy shit! Okay. Rodney? Run, Rodney, run. Whoa! Holy crap, holy. Alright, let's get some poison in this. Whoa, shit! Okay, Crescent Bull. Did that do any damage at all? Did I miss? Oh, wow! This thing is tough as balls! Holy crap! I thought the fight with the, um... With that giant elk thing was uh, gonna be tough. Holy shit! Okay. Uh. Okay, good, good, good. That actually does a crap ton of damage there. Nice. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! 
Okay. When it does that, I guess I should probably back off a little bit, eh? Oh my god. All right, crits and bold man. That did... a... rather... insignificant amount of damage, I will say. Um, I think the way to go... Oh, shit! I think the way to go is probably to use the old uh, hero strike on it. Holy shit, Biscuit. Nope, not today, cre you uh, cretin bull. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's funny that it's called the cretin bull. I mean, I'm sure that's not how it's actually pronounced, but still. Still pretty funny, I gotta say. Okay, it's doing its uh, little uh, rowdy thing. Oh shit, did I miss with that? Dick nuts. Oh no! Oh my goodness. Oh mama. Sweet mammy jams. Alright, sir. Oh! Nice! I actually completely eradicated its uh, ball sack and also um, butthole. Awesome. Okay, uh, well, before we end the episode, let me actually return to Daphne to. Um, give her the pelts, because right now, I believe, uh, shit, I can't, because I have to get out of this, uh, location first. Very cool, though, very cool. I'm actually very glad that the herbivores and whatnot that we have to hunt down, the legendary animals, are all, um, not, not just like, you know, single kill, uh, animals, but rather, rather formidable stuff. Because, uh, when I first, before I encountered the, uh, the elk, or the deer, the, um, the, I'm assuming it's the elk, the, the elk that we needed to hunt down, I thought it was just gonna be, like, a single kill thing, because that's how all the herbivores are in the game, right? They just, like, single kill, um, like, a single hit and, uh, kill animals, like the goats and the elk and, uh, the deer and all that such, but no, they actually turned out to be pretty badass and probably one of the more tougher fights I've had. Hey, where is Daphne? Daphne, where are you at, girl? Ah, uh, there you are. Daphne, my love. I returned. Whoa! That was nice. Beast Slayer. I'm glad to see you, Daphne. I didn't think you would be. The path I set you on is fraught with danger. You could have been killed or given up. Oh, it was worth it to see you. No danger could have kept me from seeing you again. Maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh! The Nemean Lion's Pelt. Magnificent. As is its hunter. <laughs> so are you. Strength is powerless in the face of beauty. Even Heracles fell to its sway. You slay me as easily with your words as your weapons do these beasts. Actually, that was a very tough fight, but no more talking. You haven't seen anything yet. Oh, oh, oh! Hello, nurse. Wow, Pandora's Copus. Holy shit, okay. Beast Slayer, I'm glad to see you again. <laughs> so am I. The bull put up quite a fight, but his pelt is yours. You are remarkable. Oh, uh, what? I don't get to um, flirt with her? Okay. No more than the bull. The gods have blessed us with a world of wonder, and we should honor it. Spoken like a true daughter of Artemis. Okay, well, I have the uh, hind as well. The hind of Kerinea's pelt. I remember being awestruck when I caught a glimpse of her through the trees long ago. It was magnificent. It was an honor to hunt such a noble beast. For all the suffering and death I've seen, when you see something as magnificent as this, Words escape me. <laughs> Artemis was right to bring you to me. A warrior's heart beats within your chest, yet it is tempered by kindness. Mm-hmm. I'd like to temper you. <laughs> I'll return when I have more pelts. Fantastic. All right, well, let me check out what the... Uh, whoa, Master's Artemis outfit. What? Are we getting stuff alongside... Um, alongside all this? Oh, this is Artemis's set. 
Nice. Hey, hey. Fantastic. All right. Uh, and did we pick up anything else? Nope. Except for the Pilgrim's Boots, which increases my movement speed while crouching. Nice. Don't see a lot of things that uh, have that naturally. Uh, hunter damage. Damage uh, against animals. And 50% damage and 100% health for tamed beasts. Whoa, I like the look of it. Though, I think I probably prefer the stats of the uh, Stingers and the Dagger of Cronus. Which I'm starting to realize I may need to uh, upgrade. Yeah, I'm missing out on like 600 damage there, so... Uh, might be time to upgrade that thing. Alright, well, I'll do that in between episodes. And um, we'll come back. Uh, and we will be at the island of... Uh, sorry, the uh, region of Masada once again. To clear off more of these side quests. We've done... Um, we made some uh, good progress today, I think. And we'll uh, do more as we go. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!